I would say like Vancouver's got some of the smartest people um, and some of the best institutions for, for educating and in technology and, and in business. And um, because of the environment and the fact that there's been some success stories like Hootsuite that can help fund uh, further innovation, there's a lot of stuff that's happening. I would say it's, it's nascent, it's going to continue to grow, and we're only in the early days. 100%, I think there's been a lot of almost bitterness from some of the immigration reform uh, advocates in the U.S. looking at the type of thing that Canada's been doing to lure entrepreneurs into the country because of easier immigration uh, uh, policies. Um, and easier meaning, you know, if you truly are trying to innovate and you're trying to create something new and build something with value, you're welcome to our country. And so I think there's certainly a, a, a sort of a, a regulatory and a political advantage of what we're doing with immigration. Um, but I think on top of that, it's again, it's a lot of untapped talent, people that are in traditional industries. We've been largely a conservative, traditional, uh, industry-driven country. Uh, technology and startups is something that more of the, the really smart talent are starting to get really turned on to, and I think that's going to start to drive a lot of really cool things. I think that there's a lot of young entrepreneurs that want to let things, they're, they're waiting for things to happen for them. And my whole advice is generate serendipity, right? Try to find environments that are most conducive to your strength. You know, you don't judge a fish by how well it climbs a tree, right? So come to uh, events, go to regions of the world. You're young in that you have the ability to sort of not worry about all the baggage to go around and discover and find the opportunities that you want. Um, I think that people oftentimes find that if they don't see a lucky break, they're just going to give up. And that's really bad because one of the most underrated things is actually asking for something. If you don't ask, no one knows how to help you. And I think that's one of the simplest things you can do just to begin to kickstart your career.